Number one, what is the craziest thing that you are seeing in the world of AI? What is surprising you? Uh, I think what's surprising me is how many people aren't using it. I think that surprises me. You know, how many people hear about it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yet they keep they keep just going on as life is normal and they're missing out. You know, I said I said yesterday, if you aren't using AI, if you're if you're a nonprofit leader and you're not using AI, there's probably I'm pretty sure there's another nonprofit in your town that's figuring out with AI how to recruit the volunteers that you need. Right. Or there's another business. If you're a marketplace leader, if you're not using AI, there's another business that's trying to that's using AI to make a better product than you have um, using AI. So don't don't sit back and just ignore it, but start using it. It surprises me. People are ignoring it. Good. Uh, What should we be most scared of when it comes to AI? Are the machines going to take over? What, what are, what's scaring you? There's a lot. Of, yeah, a lot of people scared for their jobs, for sure, uh, which is creating some fun conversations. Uh, yeah, I think, you know, for the pastor in me worries a little bit just about the ethics of it and the theology of it. And, mm-hmm. you know, are people going to just because you type into AI a theological question or que- my kids dealing with this? There what should go. I do? Making sure that they aren't taking just what they get fed back at face value, but making sure that theologically it aligns, that scares me a little bit, concerns me. I agree with you. And I'm going to rabbit trail for a second is that that's why, not not that I've been late to the game because I kind of, I jumped on pretty early. Yeah. Um, But I I kind of wanted to step back because of the political and the the, the stuff that I kind of threw at it at first. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Even from a social perspective, you know, conservative, I'm a conservative. So, uh, yeah. a social conservative standpoint, meaning yeah. like our kids going to be getting their worldview from chat GPT, yeah. you know, things yeah. like that. That probably scares me. The most. Sure. That's fair. Um, all right. Number three, what is one thing ministry leaders should absolutely be using AI to help? Number one thing that they should be using AI to help them with. Help them with social media. You know, you need to really be, if you aren't taking social media seriously you need to be everybody carries these things around with them everybody is spending now they're not all on the same social media channel that's why you need to be posting on as many of them as you can but using as a ministry leader you need to be using ai to help you have more of a presence and a consistent presence on social media all right two off the wall uh number four what tv show are you binging right now ah we just started one um a netflix Little, it's only only has one season. It's called The Ambassador, hmm. and yeah, it's fun. It's got some bad, you know. These are pastors listening, so I'm always <laughs> afraid um, <laughs> that people are going to be offended by my answers because there there's some language on there. But it's been a fun storyline. I think we're in episode number six. Yeah. Uh, we've been watching it this week. The Ambassador on Netflix. Good. All right. And I will say, I will say this as well that we also recently at the same time randomly decided to go back and start watching Seinfelds again. So we've been doing a lot of Seinfeld, but Beth was a, was a huge Seinfeld or Seinfeld, Seinfeld fan. So we've been yeah. watching a lot of Seinfelds as well. And they're great. I know I, I miss the, I do miss the old uh, comedies like early nineties and stuff. My, oh. my, my 12 year old son said the other day to me, you guys had such a better generation. Really? Yeah. Then uh, so, uh, like, yeah. Mu- like he was naming like music and TV yes. and stuff. I'm like, if my 12 year old thinks that and and sees what's going on, no doubt. Anyway, crazy. No doubt. Uh, all right, last one. Uh, what is one thing that you learned in ministry that you wish you could go back and teach your younger self? Yeah, one thing I wish that uh, you know, it's all about the people. It's all about people. I, you know, I'm so I like to stay busy and. I like to get things done. And I feel like in my 20s, working at a church, I was so busy at the church, doing, 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 and I would run 100 miles an hour by people and wouldn't just slow down and talk to people. I think I've always loved people, but I think the older I've gotten, I'll be 50 in two years, which seems crazy. The more I've realized at the end of the day, it's about people. And so, you know, you can, you can, have big budgets and build great programs and but you know if you aren't connect 
connecting with people. You know, how many people do you know, Carl? We both know people that are well credentialed and you know they've got the training, but they just lack the ability to build rapport with people mm-hmm. and to build those relational, those relationships. I wish I would have slowed down a little bit more and just focused on on people and not been so OCD about getting results and and growing my ministry and doing, 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 doing. I would have just loved on people a little bit more. Uh, Such a good word to land on, uh, especially as we're talking about AI and technology and tools and all that. All these things are are great. AI is chat GPT is a great tool. Yeah. The AI stuff is coming out. It's really going to help us, uh, you know, save time, move faster, things like that. Yeah. Uh, but at the end of the day, our command is to love God and love people. It is. Uh, it and is. so I don't want to miss that either. Um, yeah. And our, you know, and that's one thing I really appreciate about you is, you know, we, we text back and forth and just have a great friendship. And, and I appreciate that about you, that you that you take the time with people. Um, and and I, I agree, just as we go faster in ministry and try to get more things done, uh, I don't want to lose sight of the people. So No doubt. Work. No doubt. It's all about the people. Carl, you're doing a great job. Thanks for having me on the podcast. Thank you, buddy. You too. Have a great day.